Welcome to our Tech Support Top Tips Collection. This series features the recommended process on how to upgrade factory controllers to the latest software. In this video, we'll explain how to upgrade a Windows CE factory controller to the latest version using Boot P. Please note from the end of July 2022, the controllers from the factory will have Linux version 840. When controllers are brought online using Boot P, they get issued a temporary IP to communicate to the command center server, but do not cache information. So the server cannot send down configuration settings when the controller is at a lower version of firmware than the server. Boot P will only work for a controller where the Boot P protocol is allowed to traverse the network. It's important to note when DIP Switch 2 is on, the controller will drop its configuration, which includes pinned certificate. So when the controller connects to the server after the restart, the certificate will not match the server. This causes the controller to remain offline and generates an authentication of controller failed invalid certificate alarm in command center each time the controller restarts. In this case, a revalidate certificate override may be required to bring the controller online after the controller restarts with DIP switch 2 on. So let's go through the recommended process to upgrade the controller with factory firmware to the latest released version using the boot P method. Firstly, configure a new controller 6000 in command center but don't assign any software version. Leave DIP switch 2 on. Connect the controller to the network. Power on and wait until the controller comes online. Now assign the latest controller software, version 820 or above. The controller downloads the software, restarts and reports online. After the operating system migration initiated event is generated, the controller upgrades to the latest software, version 820 or above. Next, perform the revalidate certificate override on the controller to bring it online. The controller then restarts again for the time zone update, but will report as offline. Perform the revalidate certificate override on the controller to bring it back online and download the remaining files of the latest software, version 820 or above. Finally, turn off DIP switch 2. The total upgrade time for the recommended process takes less than 10 minutes. If you have any further queries regarding the upgrade, please contact our tech support team.